Hello and welcome to Sparks Live and welcome to the MS Valentine's Big Night in. Oh yeah. I, I am here and I'm joined by the lovely April. Uh, April, of course, who is in charge of everything to do with food here at MS. What is your official title, April? Do you know I got it wrong last time? Yeah. I'm the director of product for foods. Lovely, which essentially means that April has tasted everything that you buy from MS. I love that. <laughs> uh, congratulations, that's a great job. But we're also joined in bed uh, by the MS wine ambassador, Fred Syriex. Fred, good evening. Bon, bon, bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, good evening, bonjour. Bonjour, anything. Ça va? Ça va bien, et vous? Yes, very well, thank you. I'm oh, very you comfortable. Tell me you were doing it. Yeah, I'm very. Did I ask? Is that why I asked you? Are you comfortable? Yeah, no, okay. you said, uh, 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 what are you? Yeah, I thought so, but are you comfortable? I am very comfortable indeed. I love a job that you can do where you actually get to lie in bed. That is my dream job, let me tell you. And look at that, I've got my breakfast here. Oh, I've yeah, got this well, beautiful well, love sausage, <laughs> and I've got a Marmite crumpet, which yes. I, I have never had crumpet uh, Marmite in my life. Well, okay. this is going to be interesting, feeding Marmite to a Frenchman. I'm really, really looking forward Some to Some would say he'll either love it or he'll hate it. Yep, that's the level of the next hour. Thanks very much <laughs> for tuning in. <laughs> it gets no better than that. But anyway, it does get better than that because you're going to get to sample some amazing food. Well, we are uh, all food that you can, of course, buy in store. And we are suitably dressed, all of us, in our M&S pyjama wear. Yes, mm -hmm. have a look around. Mm -hmm. There we go. Can I say you look ravishing? Thank you You so look much. as good as the duck croquettes. <laughs> now, I know that's a real comfort compliment coming from Andy because the duck croquettes are his favourite product. Exactly. Uh, every six months I've been working with her now she's realised the things I really love. Uh, <laughs> and you look great in your pyjamas too, Fred. Tread bon. Thank you. Yeah, actually, they look like pyjamas, but yours don't look like pyjamas. I think that you could actually go shopping with those and nobody would be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> and quite frankly, after today, I probably will. I literally keep looking on the telly going, yeah, it looks OK. I just wear this normal day wear. That's I didn't think you could wear stripes on the telly. You can, as long as they're not too thin together. All right, so, okay. You see, I remember that. Not only will time. you learn about food by watching this, <laughs> you'll also learn some television magic. Yeah, that's right. We don't wear stripes that are too close or checks that are too close. And remember, with all M&S stuff, like I've done with my... Look, even my slipper is from M&S. Just the ticket in uh, it. Yeah, you've always got to leave the ticket in in case um, you return it. Don't you know any about these things? <laughs> She works in food, she doesn't work in the... What, what department will slippers come out of? I don't know about slippers and pyjamas, yeah, oh, I only fine. know about okay. love sausages and yum nuts. <laughs> she said it, she said it, not me. Right, Fred, uh, have you got a drink there? Because that's what you're world famous for. Yes, I have a bottle of Crémant. Uh, we do two Crémant at MNS. We do a Crémant de Bourgogne and Crémant de Bordeaux. This is a Crémant de Bordeaux. Now, I love Crémant. Crémant is a wine, it's a sparkling wine, actually, that's produced in France, in every single wine region of mm -hmm. France. But it's produced using the indigenous grape of that region. Now, the beauty of this sparkling wine is that it is exactly like champagne. It's produced in the same way as champagne. Basically, it means that there's a second fermentation that takes place in the bottle. Yeah. The only thing, though, because it's not made in champagne, in the region of champagne, using the grapes of champagne, it's coming at a fraction of the cost. This is just nine pounds. It's made in Bordeaux. Uh, it's made with Cabernet Franc, with Merlot, with Malbec, all the beautiful grapes that make a fantastic Bordeaux. And this is incredible value for money. Before you open it, I want you just, as you're doing that peacefully in the side, because that's the kind of thing you would use for a celebration, yes? We. Oui? Of course. I literally keep using my pigeon French and I feel really embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> that is, before you open it, don't open it quite yet. Don't open it quite yet. Uh, the pop that you will hear in that uh, bottle of champagne, well, that bottle of Clément, Clément. Oh, Clément opens, uh, is the same noise that you could have at home because we've got a competition. Woo! We always do a Sparks Live competition. Uh, today, the prize, and I'm just going to double check this, is £1,000 to spend at M&S. That's extraordinary. A that would last me like half a year. Mm. Actually, that's a lie because yeah, I buy a lot sauce. of food, me. Uh, and I do like these slippers. Uh, yeah, a £1,000 e-gift card to spend at Marks & Spencer. All you've got to do is email us your name and where you're from. And it'd be nice to know who you'd be sharing your love sausage with. OK, I mean, Fred's having his love sausage in bed. Anyway, moving on swiftly, Sparks Live at MarksAndSpencer.com. Uh, it's on the screen right now. Sparks Live at MarksAndSpencer.com. We would love to hear from you. We're, we're, I can't believe I'm saying this. Who would you share your love sausage with? Talking. It's a, yeah, it's a product that we have here. 6.30 is when we're going to stop accepting emails, so you must get in touch as quickly as you can. Uh, remember, sparkslive at marksandspencer.com. You wanted to interrupt me whilst I was talking about I a love know. sausage. Well, how can I not? We need, there might be people out there that don't know what a love sausage is. They might think we're just being 
Cheeky. Yeah, cheeky, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. they'd be right. Anyway, so, uh, Fred, you've got the bottle of wine now. Go on, they open it for the tasting. Go on, tell us a bit I about it. I was just going to say something, you know, yes. with a sparkling wine, whether it's champagne, whether it's Cremant or Prosecco, always keep your thumb on top of the cork because you don't want the cork to pop out yes. when you don't expect it. Right. So this is very, very important because it can be dangerous. Yes. Anyway, mm. I love to pop a cork. Yes, don't. It's, oh, there we are. Lovely. Look at that. I Let's love the sound. Do it it yeah. does, doesn't make the sound. Yeah, it's no, no. not part of the I experience. I agree with you. It's part of the, I have that when I open a can of Coke. If it doesn't go, because uh, I'm not a drinker, you see, so you two, but I've got a drink as well to go with it. Can I, I'm going to have to get a bit bossy. I need to tell you about this love sausage. Oh, the love sausage. I mean, she's obsessed with the love Just, sausage. Well, I mean, quite frankly, we all are, but let's go, let's talk about the love not sausage. not the only one. It went viral when we launched it a couple of years ago. So the love sausage is a heart-shaped sausage. Yes. Um, it's, well, we, you and I, we've got the original. Yeah. And it's a patented love sausage. Yes. It's a beautiful, really high meat content, Cumberland sausage. It's laced with white truffle and it's wrapped in bacon. And what I love to do is exactly what we've done here is crack a couple of eggs in the middle and bake it. Oh. Now, there's a new kid on the block. Right. Fred. Yes. Well, I know. I've, I mean, I've done two of these sparks live and I've already got competition. Oh, you meant new kid product wise. Yes. Sorry. So I Fred you, has got. I thought they were changing presenters so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fred. What's he got? Well, he's got, because it's Fred. Yes. He's got the extra spicy version. Oh, spicy so version. Don't worry, I can handle it. Can you? Well, I let's can. see. Let's I heard see. that you can handle a spicy. <laughs> I can't keep saying spicy love sausage. <laughs> Can, shall I tell you what it is, Fred? So it's, it's a chorizo. So instead of Cumberland sausage, it's chorizo. And it's got habanero in it, which is a very, very, very spicy chilli. Mm. And a lovely glaze on the top. OK, what else have we got on the plate? Well, this is what I think we're going to have a bit of fun here, Andy. OK, yeah. Because we've got a Frenchman in the house mm -hmm. who has never, ever tasted Marmite. And what we've got for Fred mm -hmm. on the plate as well, let me hold it up. We've got one of our Marmite and cheese crumpets. They're in a heart shape, perfect for breakfast on Valentine's Day. You can have it with friends, you can have it with family, you don't have to have it with your loved one. Right. Oops, delicious. So delicious. Okay, well, hang on. Fred, but Fred has never had Marmite, okay, so let's so see Fred, what he thinks. Let's see, that's what it looks like when you get it. You just put, put it in the oven for about 20 minutes and it comes ten, out. Actually. Fred, you've never had... 10 minutes? Yes. In fact, she knows everything. <laughs> uh, Fred, you've never had it before. Give it a go. This is the first. I've been here since 1992. This is the very first need... time I'm going to have Marmite. Right. Well, 20 years here. Well, good luck. You don't like it? I love it. Do you? We I'm... both love it. Yeah, we I both think. love it. We talked about it earlier. <laughs> Let's see. He's chewing it. He's deciding. Is he a lover? Does he love it or does he hate it? Remember, Fred has a great nose for wines. He's an expert in the field of taste and what things make fantastic foods and drinks. But will Fred like the Marks and Spencer cheesy crumpet with marmite? Cool. Let's go live to Fred now. I don't see the point. <laughs> 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 Literally. Well, you can't you can't sit on the fence. You either have to love it or hate it. So do you love it or hate oh, no, it? I, think, I don't see the point. So I think he oh. hates it. He I hates think he it. Hates no, it. I don't hate it. Oh, oh. I am more in the middle of the fence. No, 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 no. There is no, no middle, of the, middle of the fence when he it comes to Marmite. French, he no, I don't hate it. Oh, okay. I don't love it. Oh, oh. oh God. I'm, I'm kind of. I don't see the point. Right. Should we never, move on? To, I've never seen that in any of the Marmite advertising. No, I haven't. I don't think Marmite. I love it. Hate it. I don't see the point. No, they've never done that. I love the sausages. Okay. Does it go with the cremant? The would what? you match? What oh, would you match Marmite with? I think that's really interesting. I've never tried Actually, to match Marmite. Yes. The great thing about this crema is that it's absolutely delicious. It's very subtle. It's very elegant. It's got some really lovely fine bubbles that's coming up to the surface there, um, and it's very fruity. But it's a delicate fruit. Oh, and can I say, Fred? I'm having. I, as you, you know, I'm not drinking, but I'm having the sparkling British elderflower from M&S Food. Oh, it's delicious. Really, 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 the, um, the aroma. I love, do you like elderflower? Yes. I love elderflower. Yeah. Yeah. What's the point? But no, no, I, uh, what's, uh, uh, what's the I point? Say? I would prefer to drink my Cremant because this Cremant is actually delicious. Right, okay, perfect. I went in my uh, Marks and Spencer last week to get a bottle yes. and it was all gone. No. Don't all say gone. That. We've got plenty more coming, don't worry anyone. It. Listen to corporate girl behind you. Can you hear her? <laughs> Can you hear her? No, don't worry, there's no, don't worry, there's a delivery tomorrow morning. They get two deliveries a day, every branch. Two. For some. Stuart's watching. Oh my goodness. Um, what I wanted to say, because I have never ever actually tried to match Marmite with wine before, and that Cremon goes brilliantly. So I suggest Chris uh, Christmas, we're not doing Christmas, <laughs> Valentine's 
these cheese and marmite crumpets with that cremel, match made in heaven. Mm. Okay, uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have it again. Oh, okay, give it another go, come on. Just to hang make on, sure. I've got to do your big intro. One sec. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Fred is sitting in the bed. Uh, he's about to try Marmite for the second time. <laughs> will he decide he, he loves it or will he decide he hates it? Or will he just say, like he said last time, I don't see the point? Da, da, Why are you talking da, da. like that? That is how you talk, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I hear you. Right, he's chewing. Let's see, will his opinion change on Marmite? Anytime you like. I don't get it. Okay, fine. Uh, I really right, don't you know get what? it. Yeah, okay. no, I mean, it's very well made. I mean, the crumpet is, is very tasty, it's very mm -hmm. fresh, it's beautiful, it's soft, it's moist. Yes. Um, the paste on the top is we? really lovely, but it'd be nice if there was something else on top. Oh. Mm. Like peanut butter. I'd love some peanut butter. Sacrilege. I think we need to... Move. We've got a lot of food to get through tonight. Yeah, a lot exactly. of wine. Um, I think we need to move on. All right. I take the hint. Um, don't forget, if you want to get in touch and ask a question to either Fred about wine or why he doesn't appear to like or love... Uh, sorry, love or hate Marmite, or if you have a question for April, anything to do about M&S food, please make sure you can get in touch. The address is on the screen. We would love to hear from you and we will do our best to answer your question. Some people who have already got in touch... I can look at the screen over there and it says, April, there's a question for you, April. Woohoo! Uh, Fred, get over here. Um, can I get Breeder to come? Breeder! Oh. Sorry, we need the next course. Oh, hang on. I, oh, I need some more of the love sausage. I was enjoying that. Uh, and the egg. Protein, protein, protein. We've um, got a lot to cover tonight, guys. Okay, right. Let me say, your question for you, April, is how do you come up with the Valentine's Day food ideas? Right, Stephen. Hello. Nice Sorry, to see you. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, yeah, it's my close up, but don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, so. Hello, Breeder. How do you come up with Valentine's ideas? Well, first of all, we talk to lots and lots of customers. Mm -hmm. And what we really want to do at Valentine's is make sure that we've got something for everyone. You know, not every, particularly this year, it's a really, really special year this year, isn't it? Yeah. You know, people are locked down. They might not be with their other half. They might be with family. They might be with friends. So what we really wanted to do was make sure that we had enough Valentine's products, enough ideas that would suit a friend, a family, it would be work for Galentine's, Palentine's, every, every occasion. And we speak to customers, and then I've got a brilliant team of very creative people. You just saw a couple of them walk past just then. And we just sit there and we bash ideas around. Mm -hmm. And we come up with amazing things like the love sausage. Can I just say, because the range is so incredible, it's not just about Valentine, I, on the 14th of February. For me, it's about Valentine week. Yes. Every single day this week is a celebration. Yeah. And well, you can get those crumpets. to have fun. Exactly. And remember, all of everything that we discussed today has gone into store on today, the 10th today. of February. And it will be there right through until Valentine's Day. Uh, and we would love for you to try it. And, the, and you can give us feedback on that email address at any point. And genuinely, April and her team, and in, in fact, everybody on the MS food team, loves to hear what you think of the products. Because actually, that's what you're making it for, just customers like myself and Fred and yourself. Exactly. And, not just, and I always say this when we're doing this event, but it's not just about what you think of the products we've got currently, but we're open to ideas as well. So if you've got an idea for the next Love Sausage or the next Love Nut or the next Love Whip, love whip yeah which we're coming on to later, then, you know, please pop it into the chat bar because we've had some brilliant ideas from the last couple of sparks. And this is an ideal opportunity for me to remind everybody from Marks and Spencer's management who's watching, don't forget that item that I've created for this Christmas. Just saying. It's coming, it's coming. I literally get so excited, I don't even know why. <laughs> uh, I'm negotiating to try and put my face on the packet, but I've been told that might deter people. Uh, so that's that. Right. The food has been changed in front of us. We've gone yes. from our lovely breakfast in bed yep. with you, Fred, uh, to now part of the dining menu, which is yes. £20 for quite a substantial amount of food. Yeah, so we know, obviously, restaurants are shut, sadly. Mm -hmm. People can't go out this year, so we've done a brilliant menu. So for £20, you get a starter, yep. a main course, yep. an accompaniment, yep. a dessert, yes. a bottle of alcohol, yes. and chocolates. Is it a test? Do I now have to recite all of that? You do. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Woman, you man, do. TV, camera. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need. That's it. Everything. It's a perfect night. And as April said, 
uh, Valentine's is going to be so different this year for so many people. So one thing you can rely on is all of our Marks and Spencer food shops are open, which means you can pop in, get this, and actually if there's something you don't like, you know, go to the other shop and grab something else as well, you know, and actually make it feel really special. How many other places can you get a love sausage? Nowhere. What's the patented thing? The love Love, love sausage nut. and love nut. Which can't, get them any, yeah, can't get them anywhere. Nowhere else. Can't no. get them anywhere. Uh, right, okay, let's, what have we got then? Right, so yeah. these, we've got a starter and a main course from the um, dining menu. Yeah. So the starter is our best ever prawn cocktail. And who doesn't love a prawn cocktail? We were talking about it earlier, weren't we? Yeah, I love a prawn cocktail. Uh, a, a sauce cocktail is the first ever sauce I used to make at catering college and prepare in front of the customers when I was learning my craft how to be a front of house. And uh, these Honduran prawns go very well with the cocktail sauce. But I tell you the thing that impressed me the most here is the bread and the salted butter. Yes. I mean, that really is luxury nice for me. Thick, yeah, absolutely. You can't so, have a prawn cocktail without salted butter and bread. And what makes this the best ever is the Honduran prawns, like you say, but we've also got some really lovely, sweet little Atlantic prawns in there. So you've got the oh. sweetness of the Atlantic ones and you've mm. got the texture of the Honduran ones. And it genuinely is the best ever prawn cocktail you'll find. And actually, it's quite a dainty little size because I think if you've had um, a crumpet yeah. and a love sausage for breakfast... Yes. And then you're going on to a main course and a dessert. You yeah. probably want quite a light starter, and this is absolutely perfect. See, I had and these. why would you like a light starter, April? Well, you don't know what's coming because next, Because she's had you? a love sausage for breakfast. <laughs> That's right. You know. She's um, already full. Yeah, I'm just going to say, I've, I've, I've had I've always this. got room for more, Fred. I've had this before, <laughs> and all right, you two. I mean, sorry, I am here. <laughs> um, I've had this before, uh, and I actually put it on my Marks & Spencer um, Instagram. Page. Yes, I saw you. Yeah, and it's delicious. I think it's really. I, my question is, these are Honduras prawns. I always see Madagascan prawns in store. Do prawns yeah. come from everywhere? They don't come from everywhere, but you've got warm water and cold water prawns. Okay. And the warm water ones are the bigger ones that look like that on the top, and they give you lots of really good texture and succulence. Mm -hmm. And the cold water prawns are the ones that are smaller and they're a bit softer in texture, but they're really, really sweet. So if you combine the two, you get perfection. Mm. Yeah, and provenance is very important for the prawns, you know, because it could be mass produced and it's not something that you want to really eat. What would you match with this from a wine perspective then, Fred? Well, look, we've got the uh, Prosecco here. Prosecco was it. Now, I have to say that as a Frenchman, mm -hmm. I like Prosecco, but I'm not a big fan. But I love this Prosecco because it's rosé. It's very special. Yeah. Um, it's a vintage. It's 2019. So it's really special. Prosecco is a wine that's produced in the north of Italy. Again, it's sparkling. Watch it. Um, <laughs> and what I like about this one in particular is that oh, it's extremely fruity. That. Yeah, that was a good pop. Hang on. Here we Hang go. On, here go, we on. go. Let's, shall we just pop it? Wow. Oh, I'll no, tell you what. Go. You think that we've got one each because we're trying to be socially distanced, but actually we're going to drink one each, aren't we? We are. Are you really? Yeah. Hang on, I'm looking for You're my You're really drink. missing out here, Andy. No, what, not, what have you got? I'm not missing out. <laughs> How rude. I'm not missing out because I've got my Percy Pig Fizzy Pop. Hello, you might have your rosé, but I've got a little bit of Percy Pig going on here. So, you, yeah, you two taste. I'm going to taste as well. There is a fun side to this table, and yeah. it's here. Oh, whatever. Wow. Really? I think you'll find the parties at this end of the table. Come on, Percy. <laughs> in you go. Percy and Andy, they can party on their own, eh, Fred? In you go. So <laughs> what, no, what are you getting from that Prosecco? Look, this, this wine has a lovely colour. Look at this pink. I mean, it almost looks like April's uh, pyjamas, doesn't it? So it doesn't matter if I spill it? It doesn't really matter at all. <laughs> Ooh, it's lovely absolutely delicious. Lovely aromas of strawberries, of raspberry, you know, red fruit. Yeah. It's very light again, isn't very, it? Very, very light. Again, I mean, some beautiful bubbles here. You can see this is a very well-made wine here. Really? So, did you know that you get small, the smaller the bubbles, the better made it is, isn't really? it? Is that true, Fred? It's true. Yes. And do you want Fine another bubbles. little, since we've been giving away television trickery, when you're filming with fizzy drinks and you need it to fizz for the shot, you just put a tiny bit of sugar in and it makes loads of bubbles come up and that's when you film it. Wow. There we go. Can I just tell you about my Percy Pig drink? Because it really is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really lovely strawberry fizzy sort of non-alcoholic drink. It's absolutely delicious. And the thing is, to be honest, you can pair soft drinks as, as you would pair wines. You know, definitely. And this has got no added sugar, so it's perfect for the kids. Does it go with the prawn cocktail? It, everything goes with the prawn cocktail. 
Everything goes with a prawn cocktail. Right, I've got to hang on. Can't take the drink. Got things to do. Here to work. Unlike Fred, starting the whole show in bed. Uh, if you would like to enter our competition for your chance to win £1,000 to spend at Marks & Spencer, M&S Food, you can spend that money. You could spend it. You could buy some new slippers. Do what you want with it, but it's £1,000 to spend. Somebody watching right now will win that money as an e-gift certificate and we'll announce that person's name at the end of the programme. If you want to enter this draw, all you've got to do is send us your name, also where you're from, and tell us who will you and where will you be spending your Valentine's and possibly your love sausage. Uh, <laughs> if you want to get in touch, all you've got to do is email us sparkslive at marksandspencer.com. It's at the bottom of the screen on the right-hand side, sparkslive at marksandspencer.com. Also use that address if you have a question for Fred or a question for, for April. We'll answer as many questions as we can uh, between now and the end of the programme. Very quickly, there are some questions coming in. Let me read you one of the questions. Jenny wants to know if you're going to do a veggie love sausage, April. Well, Jenny, you know we did a veggie love sausage a couple of years ago and it wasn't hugely successful. So I want to know who wants a veggie love sausage on the line. Put it in the chat bar because if there's enough votes for it, we'll bring it back again next year. Okay, all right. Fred, there's a question for you as well. Gwen would like to know, do you personally have a favourite wine? There are so many wines that I love. But when <laughs> I do not know what to choose, I always go for champagne or cremant. Uh, because it goes well with any type of food. It's something that you can have without any food. It's something that you can have at your aperitif, with your starter, with your main. You can have it in bed even. Um, and so I think that with champagne, you never are disappointed. But there is one wine that I really like, a white wine. It's called Condrieux. It's from the Rhone oh, yes. Valley. It's mm. made with Vionnet. And this is the sexiest, the most beautiful, flavorful wine that you can get. And it's often a wine that people don't know about. Oh, it's, it's one of my favorites, actually. Is Northern it? Rhone. I love it. But I can't say Condrieux like Condrieux. you do. Condrieux. Hello. <laughs> very well. Hello. I'm still here, everybody. Still here. <laughs> I may well be eating the prawn cocktail, but I'm still here. You two, stop it. It's literally <laughs> becoming like an episode of one of your own programmes, Fred. Which one? Oh, you're so, so popular. <laughs> um, no, Fred, I was going to ask Christian, I don't, I don't drink, so I don't know anything about wine. When I'm in M&S and I'm looking at the dining menu maybe and I'm thinking, actually, I want to get a bottle of wine for my friends are coming. Is there any tips you can give me? I always just randomly go, if it's the most expensive, it's the best wine. But that's not always true, is it? No, I think that you have to go with your heart and what, what you feel like. But if you are buying something for one of your friends, ask them what they prefer. Do they like sparkling? Do they like white? Do they like red? Do they have a preference as to what origin the wine comes from? And then, and then you can go and choose the best wine for the occasion. Right. Now, the one thing I love about the Classics range is that it's the best example of a region or a grape or a style. So if you go with the Classics range, you really can't go wrong because you're going to get the best of a particular style. That takes us on really nicely to the next course, which is the Love Linguini. I was just going to say, I see you read the notes as well. Yes. <laughs> but I was going to say, do you just... Um, go with a red for red meat, a red wine for red meats, and a white wine for white meats. Is that a, a good rule of thumb? Look, traditionally, this is what people have done, you know, and there are all these rules, all this etiquette with wine. Mm -hmm. And what I say is throw away the rule book and do what you like and drink what you like, drink what makes you happy. So, for example, with this lovely linguine here, traditionally, you would go with red wine because yeah. you've got meat, you've got a red wine sauce, you've got a, a tomato sauce, which it, it, it's something that people would drink more uh, red wine. But actually, with a dish like that, I've got a bottle of Suave here and a bottle of Chianti, and you can go with either or, or both of them at the same time if you fancy it. Yeah, okay. And that, again, because we are sort of led to believe that these things are, you would have two different bottles at the table and people shouldn't frown at it. Just go, no, that's it. One, they both taste nice with what you're Look, eating. Let's say, for example, me and April, mm -hmm. oh, we are on a sorry, date. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's just say, for example, that you and April are on a date. Okay, yeah, I've imagined, imagined it. <laughs> hang on, I've imagined it. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm actually living in it right now. <laughs> but let's just pretend that you two are on a date. Yeah, carry on. And let's say that uh, April, for example, prefer white wine. So yes. I would get her a bottle of Suave and I would get myself a bottle of Chianti. And we I would have a bottle each. Suave, have there you are, April. 
While we're at it, can I tell you about the love linguine? Because yeah, I'm just starting to tuck in. OK, so... We're good so for time, don't worry, Apple. we're good for we time. Right? I've got it all under control. I'm a bit worried, we ran out of time don't last worry. time. Yeah, I know, some bits, don't worry. Anyway, yeah. we'll get... I was we'll, tired we'll manage day. between OK. Um, OK, so this love linguine, it's one of the main courses in the dining menu. And the reason I absolutely love it, the reason it's a love linguine, it's a, it's a meatball and pasta. But linguine normally... Would you know how long a piece of linguine is normally? In the <laughs> normal world? In normal world, it's 30, 30 centimetres. Yes, exactly. But what we've done with this dish, specifically for Valentine's, we have made the linguine 60 centimetres long, Ooh. so you can have your very own Lady in the Tramp moment. But the really important thing is, and I know it feels like we're having lots of fun with this food tonight. Yeah. We'll have even well, we more are. fun in a minute, because we've yep. got more stuff coming. But we like to not take ourselves too seriously, but our food is really... We take that very, very seriously. So this beef... Did you know that M&S is the only retailer that every single um, piece of beef we sell from a meatball through to a steak, mm -hmm. you can trace it right back to the farm it came from and it's always British? I mean, this recipe itself is made to a really traditional recipe. Great tomatoes, great linguine. So although it's a bit of fun, you know, and we want people to enjoy it and have a nice time, it's still brilliant, brilliant, delicious quality food. I mean, that quality is very important. And what you know, you, if, you if you go to M&S, you know that you're going to get quality food. Mm. That's very important. Yeah. Otherwise, people will not come back. And mm. um, this is what this dish is about, actually. I have to say, firstly, you know, I've got two people who are taste experts, but the meatballs are fantastic. They're seasoned perfectly. Uh, what I'm getting in this is the tomato sauce. That's not a two-minute tomato sauce. That's a s tomato sauce which slow has been slow-cooked. It, it really is. You do know. You're master chef. I know, but you know I don't like to go about. on about it. He's pretending he doesn't know anything. Yeah, he but really I don't does. like to mention it too often. But I am filming at it tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it is, it, it's a really... You can just taste that, the, the time and effort that's gone into it. And you mustn't forget, you know, you can slow-roast something. You think at home, you do a slow-roast, you know, beef bacon or whatever. But that's exactly what you do. You put it on and let it cook for hours and hours and hours before you then package it up for Just us to like buy. Just like giant kitchens, all our food is it's, it's like it's being made in a giant kitchen with that much love and that much attention to detail. And the linguine, again, beautiful. How 60 centimetres long, have you, have you? I found a really big bit, but what I wanted to ask is... It's a shame about social distancing. The packaging yes. that this comes in now, uh, is, is this dish a dish I put in the oven or a dish I put in the microwave? Um, you can do, do either. OK, perfect. So again, if, you, if you're pressed for time, uh, come Valentine's Day on Sunday, um, and actually if you're watching this and it's past Valentine's Day, Eat it any day you like. Um, but, you know, if you press for time, you can microwave it. If not, roast it slowly in the oven, yep. or, according to um, the instructions. According to the instructions. Yes. But what Breed has done here, and it just makes it that tiny bit more special if you're having a special meal. We've just put a tiny bit of fresh basil on the top and shaved some parmesan. Mm. And honestly, your other half or someone in your family, if you make it and do that final little garnish, they won't know you haven't made the whole dish yourself. Oh, yeah. Always trade it off as your own. I know I'm sorting my mouth full, but it's delicious. While you've got your mouth full, oh. which do you think goes best, the Suave or the Chianti? Or I do you like them both? Both goes, both goes well, actually. I mean, the flavours are very delicate here in the Linguine, and the Suave is really mm -hmm. delicate. It's got some lovely fruity flavour, very zesty, very apple And in a way, also, it's got this kind of chewing gum taste, which reminds me of my childhood. And, as a, you know, with wine, there are no rules, really. If mm. you feel that it tastes like chewing gum, it does taste like chewing gum. And that's what's so exciting mm. about wine, because we are all going to find different flavours, different smells within the wines. I literally just then thought I was drinking the wine, but my Percy Pig <laughs> drink tastes a bit of chewing gum as well. It's got a, it's got a lovely bubblegummy flavour, which is lovely. And that must be the berries, the strawberries that, you know, that you're tasting. That's a really, that is delicious. OK, we've got, you've got two minutes now. Two minutes, if you want to enter our competition to win £1,000 to spend at Marks and Spencer, you've got two minutes to enter. All you need to do is very quickly jump online and send us an email to sparkslive at marksandspencer.com. <laughs> Tell us your name, where you're from, and who you're going to be spending your Valentine's with and whether you will be enjoying a love sausage, the one that we sell in store, whilst you're having and celebrating your Valentine's Day. I just need to make that clear for legal reasons. So tell us your name, where you're from, and who you'll be spending Valentine's Day. Even if you're going to be spending it by yourself, say, I'll be spending it by myself, but I will enjoy a love sausage and some of this fantastic linguine. Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, sorry. Yeah. I, was, no, I was slightly distracted by the notes there. But... Um, I think, I'm really sorry, I know you haven't completely finished, but we need to move on to the sweet stuff because not only have we got dessert, yes. we have got lots of wonderful gifts and oh. chocolate I want to talk about. So have a oh, couple of okay, mouthfuls. I need to have a few. While I do this very quickly, um, Fred, how will you be spending Valentine's Day? In bed. 
<laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> there we go. And it's a Sunday as With well. With a love sausage. Exactly. Yeah. Yourself, yourself, April, anything, anything nice going down in, the, in your household? Well, according to the notes, my husband's on the chat and said he's spending, I'm spending Valentine's with him. I, can I yeah, just... Yeah, I can confirm that. Can we... Yeah, I'll just say, <laughs> I need, I've just had confirmation she's got a husband and I feel a bit like a gooseberry now. Uh, if your, your husband's watching, I tried my hardest, but he's so smooth. He's so smooth. It's unbelievable. I just Don't eat. worry, Mark, you're safe. Yeah, she says that now, Mark. You haven't seen the French wonder. You haven't seen the square to cream yeah. yet. Oh, sorry. Okay. What? <laughs> Literally, Frida, that, I can I just say, the Marks and Spencer legal, Timothy, thank the Lord this only comes around once a year. <laughs> we only have to say love sausage again <laughs> next February. I uh, think we've, how many times can you cram in the word love sausage in one Sparks Live? I think we need to move the conversation on to the love nut. Before we've moved, we we've do that, too fast. We've got half an hour to go. Before we do that, can I tell you about Are this? We? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Before we do that, can I tell you about this Chianti? Yes, let's mm. talk about This is Chianti. absolutely We've delicious. It is so fruity. I mean, this one has been aging oak for 12 months and you can really smell the oak here and the vanilla coming through. Lots of sherry flavours. This Chianti is my favourite of the four, I think. This is absolutely it's really delicious. Good. It's so well made. And you know, the interesting thing also with Chianti and Suave, you know, they are the two areas in, the, uh, in Italy that were actually made into a proper wine zone in the 30s. So they are the very first two de denomination uh, back in 1930. I didn't know that. Yes. And what's your view on Italian wines being French? Where would Italian you put them? wines are delicious, really, really delicious. I think that the only thing where I think there's a bit of a competition, but it's not a competition, is with the sparkling wines, with the champagne and the crema. Don't worry, Steve. So we've Thank got you. more food coming in. That's who the people you can see crossing across shot. Lovely, so you know, don't worry. Breeder and Stephen just placing down some more lovely stuff. Whilst you do that, Breeder, has anyone ever gone to you? Breeder, Las Vegas. Breeder. <laughs> Breeder. Right, the competition is now closed. Uh, you cannot enter the competition anymore. We will randomly select a winner uh, and they will get £1,000 to spend at Marks and Spencer. Don't forget, every time we do one of these Sparks events, we do give away some money to spend in store. There are many more Sparks events to come. Make sure you keep an eye on your Sparks app. Where's my phone? Oh, my phone. My, I always check my phone for my Sparks apps. Um, look on the app. You can see all of the offers, but you'll also find out when the next Sparks event is. Or alternatively, make sure you check your emails uh, when you see something come from Sparks. That's us saying we might be back on the telly soon. Right, questions, questions, questions. Um, <laughs> I've just read one of the questions. Janet wants to know. <laughs> Janet wants to know, do I ever stop eating? Janet, no. I never. I eat, but I ask short questions so that they talk, I eat. Here comes a question. Shilpa wants to know, uh, if you throw pasta against the wall, um, is that true you should do that to check if it's overcooked? If you're Gordon Ramsay and you get upset, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're cooking in your kitchen as anybody would, no, you don't. No. Okay, Fred, um, also a question from Emma. She'd like to know, do you recommend strawberries with champagne? Always. Really? But you've got to make sure the strawberry are nice and ripe, nice and sweet. You know, that's very important. Right, okay, but perfect. What's better than champagne and strawberries? Oh, See, I, ironically, don't know, because I don't drink champagne and I don't eat strawberries. strawberries. No. What, you don't like strawberries? A slight allergic reaction. Oh, but anyway, let's not do that now. Right. Um, right. So, <laughs> uh, Fred, another question for you. Uh, why do you swirl wine? Why does one swirl wine? Well, you swirl wine to liberate the aromas inside the wine and basically you oxygenate the wine and as you oxygenate the wine, the aromas free themselves inside your mouth and, and you can taste what the wine tastes like. And what about when the people slurp it? You know that... That's thing. exactly same the thing. same thing. Okay. Same thing. Okay. It's, it's the ox oxygenation of the wine. Okay. I like liberate better. Liberate. liberate. It's a great word. The, no, well, it's Fred a great used word. it. I haven't, but he says, when he says it in French, liberate. Liberate. All oh, right, stop. <laughs> beginning to embarrass me slightly <laughs> right so dessert has arrived what have we yes, got right so this is one of the desserts um in the menu yeah and it's some beautiful little heart-shaped churros i don't know if you can see those yeah churros are um little fried donuts yes in a heart shape with a lovely chocolate dipping sauce but there's a surprise so i want you to see what you think okay so janet who um there they go that's what they look and by the way as you look at that picture now uh, when you are in store, everything that we talk about will have some of this lovely um, packaging, which has got the love hearts on and stuff, mm -hmm. hasn't it? Really nice. Absolutely. And actually, my branch, I say my branch, because I share it with lots of other people, uh, but in the branch I went into today, my local, they have a whole fridge, which has got, it just looks so lovely. It looks so, so nice. And there's other things in there as well, isn't there? Especially for Valentine's. Oh, gosh, yeah. Hello, now, half, the one... just, half a 
half a Jess lobster. It looked amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Back to the close-up of the churros. Right. Did taste it first, okay, and then fine. I'll tell you. Actually, while you're tasting and eating, mm -hmm. let's ask Fred, which of the wines would you eat with the churros? And then I want to talk about this little beauty. I think definitely the, the Prosecco, yeah. Yeah, the I pink think. prosecco would go very well with it. So what I would recommend people do is add a little bit with their aperitif, and then keep the bottle on ice, and then bring it out again with the churros. That would be perfect. Okay, Brilliant. nice. So these are vegan. Oh, are they? <laughs> they don't, they don't You're taste enjoying it. Them. No, they don't taste it. They don't it. taste it. That's, That's good. We've talked about this before. Mm. The vegan food we do doesn't. There's no compromise. They're absolutely mm. delicious. And in the dining menu, mm -hmm. there are vegan choices mm. for every single course. Oh, brilliant. That's good. But what isn't vegan, I'm really sorry about this, but it's one of my favourite products we've done this year. Did you know mm -hmm. the sales of Squirty Cream at Valentine's Day go up by over 100%? Well, having sat for the last 35 minutes with you and Fred, yes, I can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but this, mm -hmm. this isn't just any whippy cream. Look, you can Any Squirty like Cream. Oh, no, he's doing it. Oh, gosh, he's off. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, it's not working. Just hold it at a higher angle. There he's done. <laughs> but... The, Valentine's has just got that much more exciting because this, you can't get this anywhere other than M&S and it's squirty cream with real chocolate mixed through it. It's not chocolate powder or what you might see elsewhere. This is mm. real chocolate in squirty cream. It is absolutely delicious and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Now, interestingly, <clears throat> you say that we can't get that anywhere else. Yes. How long have you been working then on this product? Because obviously lots of people would have been thinking, we should make this because it's a great idea. No, this one actually, and I'm going to call out James Newton Brown here because he's in my team and he has worked tirelessly with his team. We we tried to launch this last year and we couldn't get it to work. Oh, it's technically epic very, fail, very James. Good. Last year, no, you didn't he get didn't it done. fail. He no, never he gave didn't get up. it done last he year. Never you said you tried. No, you didn't get it done last year, James. Sorry, <laughs> that's the way the cookie crumbles, James. Your but pass listen, might not work tomorrow. Just up, saying. Andy. Just James, saying. James, don't listen. Don't listen. Um, Andy. Yeah. He doesn't so need his pass. He's working from home, apparently. I've just been told. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's working from home. Doesn't need his pass. Right, come on. I'm going to try. No, but this, the reason it's difficult is because it's real chocolate mixed with the cream. Oh, and you can't get this anywhere. He's a bright else. lad, that James, isn't he? He is. He's worked it all Well out. done, James. I take it all back. Well done. Excellent work. <laughs> Good work, James. I'm going to try and put it on my love heart churros. Since April moved the show along, we've got a lot of time to spare. Right. Well, so. I knew we'd need a lot of time for the squirty cream. Okay, hang on. It's got one of those. You've got to... Oh yeah, here we go. So this there's a hole in the middle. Don't forget. There we are. Oh James, what <laughs> have you it. done, James? James, good lad, James. Double barrel surname. You excellent Newton job. Brown. Who? James Newton Brown. No, yeah, good name. Very talented man. Obviously, <laughs> more talented had he launched it last year. <laughs> it's good though, isn't it? That was amazing. You can put it on anything. <laughs> anything. anything. <laughs> And what, do you <laughs> and what do you recommend? A churros. <laughs> That's yes, what exactly, I recommend. Exactly. But, uh, this is absolutely amazing. Because <laughs> I've never had I've never had a So James, next year we want strawberry and chocolate flavour, oh, please. Strawberry vanilla. Have you got vanilla? What about Neapolitan? Get three at the oh, same the time. The poor man's just had a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Neapolitan. He's like, Are you kidding me? It took me two years to do chocolate. And he's never gonna get the other one. Oh, this is lovely. James, well done. Oh, oh it? right, more questions. Mm. Mm. We haven't come on. Uh, Sue would like to know, April, how do you cook the churros? Um, oh my God, you pop them in the oven. Okay. But I can't remember the time. Abby, they're so quick. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Is it seven minutes? Se do you know that? Seven minutes at one eighty. I just do everything at one eighty. Seven minutes at one eighty. The you Perfect. could put them in the microwave, but the really delicious. Oh no, no, no. No, you wouldn't because. No. They are crispy on the outside, and that's what really makes them a lovely texture. So that's why we put them in the oven. And when you put them in the oven, it feels like you're cooking them. If you put yes, them in the microwave, like it's like you're you? cheating, isn't it? Pop them in the I oven. am literally the only person stuffing my face, but I don't mind. This food is absolutely delicious. And as Fred said, I mean, we kind of all know that with M&S food, that it is whatever you buy, you're going to love, and it's going to be delicious. But April, that is core to all the values you, you have to stand yeah, for, Absolutely. I mean, we will not put anything on the counter unless it is absolutely delicious. We have a del delicious omitter that we have to pass. How many people would have tasted this churros before it got to the shop to make sure you all thought it was right? Well, there'd be one special person who sort of owns it and gives birth to it, if you like. That sounds Not horrible. James Double Barrow. It's not, not him as well, is it? <laughs> no, James. Oh, Jordan Bennett. 
poor man's so busy. No wonder he took it two years to develop this. No, so we have we have what we call product developers, mm -hmm. and we also have brilliant chefs and we have brilliant nutritionists. But our product developers are the ones that create the recipes, working with our suppliers, working with our chefs, and um, they go through hugely lengthy processes to make sure that every single time those um, products are perfect. So, you know, it's not like cooking at home. So if you're cooking at home, you might make it slightly different one day to the next, but something, when you're buying it as a product, you want it to taste exactly the same every single time. Yeah. So um, it's really important that it's properly tested. We get the cooking instructions right for everybody's different types of ovens, um, that we, we've got to test it for its nutritional value. There's a, there's a lot to it. It's not, it's not simple. Um, the idea is almost the easy bit. Really? It really uh, yeah, is. Okay. It's sort of... What's that um, quote? Innovation is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And that's definitely what it's like to create products. Wow, well, I have to bubble. Yeah, I've never even had bubble. Well, is that no, yours? No, well, that, was, that was Einstein, I think. <laughs> 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 but I just pass it off as my own, you know. Oh, my God. Much like, with, much like the linguine, exactly the same. Look, very quickly, um, Fred, Rusty wants to know, out of all the meals on Valentine's Day, which one do you think is the most romantic? I think it has to be dinner. OK. Um, because dinner, you know, the night falls, you know, you can have your candles, you can uh, uh, run a bath and, and have some, some rose petal in it, you can do your cooking, and then you can welcome your loved one with some champagne as he or she comes out of the bath, yeah. and this is when the evening starts. Oh, I love the fact that they're clean around your house as well. It's very They've important. just had a bath and they're yes. clean, quite right. An, open, and then an open fire as well, do you think? Open fire. Some lovely music. That's right, yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, just got what she wants now, Fred. Uh, okay, right, very quickly, there's one more thing to try, isn't there, on the table? There's more than one thing to try, because we haven't even talked about if you want to give little gifts to anyone. Okay, then let's do that then. But the first thing I need to talk to you about is yes. the love nut. Okay. So this is the love nut. Yes. So some of you will be familiar um, with the yum nut, yes. which is the love child between... I think we've talked about them Yum before. nuts, yeah. Um, it's the love child between a donut and a yum yum. Yeah. And what we've done is put a Valentine's twist. I mean, these are absolutely brilliant. They've got little um, freeze-dried raspberries on the top, little um, hearts on the top. I don't know if you can see them. But the great thing about this, I mean, look at the number of layers and the laminations in Just that. Hold so it that's still, hold it still. Here we go. Just wait for him. He's, he's not, that, not as young as he used to be for the close-up. <laughs> In your own time, don't worry, we're off air at nine. There we go. We there can see. Look at the go. layers. That's fantastic. So this is a really, really complex dough yep. that, make, that, start, that starts this whole process. So I'm not going to give all the secrets away, but it's not just a bit of fun. Yes, we've called it the yum nut, mm -hmm. love nut, sorry. Yep. Um, but it also tastes delicious, and there's a lot of craft and expertise gone into that. Right, OK. There's... Whoa, my glass. Whoa. Uh, OK. Only at m &S. Oh, Obviously. Uh, no. And... Should we talk a, bit, a little bit about what you can give to your loved ones? Yes, of course. And as we talked about right at the beginning, then, um, you know, it's a very unusual Valentine's this year. You could be locked in with friends. You could be locked in with your family. Is it locked in? You can't be locked in. <laughs> just carry on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, but you might want to just give some token gifts, leave them on people's doorsteps. That's more like it. Um, we have got some amazing, amazing things. So we've got um, some... I'm going to grab them up here, I think. It's easier. She's moving around, everybody. I'm She's moving, moving around. around. Sorry, She's sorry. let loose. She's gone rogue. <laughs> She's gone rogue. That's right. I've sat back down. I'm still two metres <laughs> yeah. apart from me. Right. Well done. Right. So these little chaps. Yep. These are cola um, sausage dogs. Little dashens. Yes. OK. Cola We've got flavored. some. Oh, look. There's some beautifully there photographed packaging. Um, uh, lovely, actually. Yeah. They're really good, aren't I they? can smell it from here. The aroma. Yours are happening. Um, we've also got these amazing little have a lot of love to give, which are lime flavoured sweets. Nice. Again, really nice gift if you just want to cheer somebody up if they've had a really tough time. Leave one of those on their doorstep. My absolute favourite. Yes. And it won't surprise you. Is the love whips. Of course, and we're not talking uh, unlike the love. The, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I'll just. So, you're, you know walnut whips? I remember them well. So, in this box, you've got three little walnut whips, but not walnuts. They've got a ruby chocolate heart on the top, and they are filled with strawberry flavour marshmallow. And they are so delicious. And there's three of them. One, two, three. One each. If only you were allowed to open it and hand it to well, me. Well, exactly. I think we've got some somewhere. I've got some over there. I've got, literally, the bed is ready for me to get ready to go to Fred's bed. Fred's got a pile of and them And quite there, frankly, thank the Lord, it's me that's going into that bed by myself. <laughs> uh, uh, time for a couple more questions. Chris wants to know, from Fred, uh, what's your favourite wine that you've had tonight? By far the Chianti, I think. Okay. The Chianti is delicious. It's so well made. It's a really a serious wine, but it, it's a classic, so it comes... Uh, um, 
I don't remember the price. Like it's eight pounds for a wine like that, you know, of this quality at eight pounds. And it's not something that you can find very often. OK, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, thank you to everybody that sent a question. It's fantastic. It's so nice to hear from you. Uh, Beth has written in. Beth wants to know. Beth, you've asked a slightly random question, but I've got the answer for you. Beth wants to know, is the candle, this candle here, from M&S? So have a look at the candle. This is the candle that Beth is talking about right here on the desk. And Beth wants to know, is it from M&S? Now, Beth, what do you think? Home, fur <laughs> home furnishings range. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, Beth, you're right. It absolutely is from M&S. And it has a 20-hour burn time. Ooh, look at you. I didn't know that. Like, yeah, I did. Yes, can I, exactly. Can I, can I add a you, Of course, yes, yes. So, Beth. Yes. Oh. Not just that candle. Every single thing on this set is from M&S, including our pyjamas. All three of them. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. And our slippers. And, and our slippers. And Beth is also asking about Andy's anti-aging secrets. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something, questions. Beth. He wears so much makeup. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> so much so, in fact, that it was no more for me. Anyway, at the end of the day, I never wear makeup because I, you're not going to turn me into Brad Pitt. You know, this is what you get. That's it. But, uh, yeah, well done. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's the work of an artist. She's very, very good. Good old June. Cheers, June. Uh, I actually look 104 before I see you. Come on. <laughs> look 21 again. Thank the Lord. Right, OK. Uh, Phil wants to know uh, if the products are suitable for peen people with a peanut allergy. I suppose it's best that he checks the label because it is all on yes. ev every label will tell you, yes? Exactly. So some are, some aren't, but you must, must check the label because obviously peanut allergies are very, very dangerous. And, but yeah, very, one. very serious. Uh, well, look, or I have... ask in store, actually, sorry. OK. You can ask anyone in store. They've got a list of what's suitable and what isn't. Um, so just make sure you check. And if you've just joined us uh, and we have sampled some great food, the thing to remember is, is that we do have vegetarian options Absolutely. in the dining range for this Valentine's, yeah? And vegan. Vegetarian and vegan. And vegan? Yep. Yeah. Oh, she's good. That's why she's like one of the boss women. Uh, hard to take her seriously when she's sitting next to me in a negligee, but that's fine. <laughs> that's a negligee, that's right. Yes, a negligee. A negligee. 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 Is, that, is that a very old fashioned term? I don't know, but I quite like it. Oh, yeah, it's a, oh, it's a nice sounding word. Yes. Oh, it's French. You can get is it really? But negligé. What does it mean? It's a negligé. It's, <laughs> it's a negligé. <laughs> <laughs> that means that there isn't much. much. When yeah, yeah. He says is that, it. that means <laughs> that there isn't much on there top of you. There isn't much. <laughs> negligé. Uh, negligé. Anyway, right. Uh, I'm going to go and leave you two because I feel as if I've sort of. You know, what should I take with me? I'll take this, because this is really nice. I think we've left you some sweets over there, Andrew. Oh, look at that. You retiring on your All own All the bed. sweets I want here. Oh, this bed's comfy. Uh, but what was it? Was it Jenny? The bed's available for M&S as well, apparently. Uh, so. so let's have a sit down. These two. There we go. Right. Look, it's time to announce the competition winner. Oh, this is Quilt M&S. It's lovely. I didn't uh, know he was going to go in my bed. Uh, the bed has actually been changed between you going in it and me going in it. No, but this is my bed. Just to be on the safe side, viewers. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, <laughs> right, so, uh, competition. Let me just look at the screen over here. The winner of the competition is Charlotte Clark. Round of applause, everybody, for Charlotte. Woo! Congratulations, Charlotte, Charlotte Clark in Nottingham. Well done. Uh, she's going to spend Valentine's Day with her boyfriend, uh, who she can't see at the moment because of lockdown. Oh. Uh, but she can't wait to share it with him now. April, That's you'll know, sad. is the Marks and Spencer in Nottingham where Charlotte's going to have a thousand pounds to spend. Is that a nice branch? It's brilliant. It's a lovely branch. I, do you know what? I've yeah. been to it. When I was on the Dancing on Ice tour, I went to the Marks and Spencer in Nottingham. It's in a pedestrianised little road and they used to have a separate Marks and Spencer home shop. That is a fact for the day. Bake off and ice skating. Oh, yeah. Is there no... Multi-talented, there... literally. Oh, my goodness. No limit to this man's talent. Uh, you two, you can enjoy the wine we whilst will. you're there. You enjoy the wine. Uh, I'm going to sit here. I've got a lovely tray of some of the sweets and, of course, my squirty cream. Uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Please don't forget... Sparks live events are going to carry on throughout this year. If you want to make sure you hear all about it, make sure you're fully up to date and all your details are up to date on your Sparks account. And remember, always check your Sparks app just before you go into the shop. This is my own personal life uh, because you never know what offers might be on there. And if there's a free avocado, woo, woo, woo. Uh, thank you very much, Fred. Lovely to see you. Cheers. Nice Cheers. To see thank you very much, April. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see Cheers. you. Cheers. And thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time for Sparks Live. I've never done this before. <laughs> Happy Valentine's, everybody, Happy Valentine. whoever you're with. Right, Fred, should we get on to the Prosecco? Let's go. Have you tried all the sweets?